if you're struggling with procrastination, I'm going to call you something. I'm going to trigger you maybe here with this. I'm kidding. I won't trigger you. But I'm going to call you something that you may not expect. And what I'm going to call you is you, the procrastinator, you are a workaholic. You're a workaholic. Now, you may not be doing any work, but you are a workaholic. That is the problem you face. It is, it is the flip side of procrastination. It's the other side of the same coin. And this is the approach to personal productivity that will liberate you and set you free if you can understand what it is I'm talking about, what the hell I'm talking about calling you a workaholic when you're a procrastinator. The way this works is procrastination is a boundary problem. It's a personal boundary problem. Boundaries with my own behavior. And also workaholism is identically so a boundary problem, a personal boundary problem. So the way I describe this to people is, well, what do I mean by boundaries with procrastination and workaholism? Well, I want you to think of your work life, your work life. You, the amount of work you're going to do in a given day, we'll say, right? That could be in your job, or in your, your side projects, your creative work, anything. This area that you have a goal in, right? So this is the amount of work that you're going to do in that given day, beginning to end, right? This is the, the amount of time you're going to spend on it, right? Now, the procrastinator lives out here. This is where the procrastinator lives, outside the work boundary. And the procrastinator wants to start, but can't get in. So it comes to, well, I'm going to start soon. Yeah, but I don't really feel ready. You know, I'm, well, okay, I'm going to start. Yeah, but this thing is coming up here. Uh, I should start soon. But yeah, and see what happens is this boundary of work keeps shifting all the time. We're kind of chasing it, trying to get in. Okay, so that's the procrastinator. Now, the workaholic is very similar. The, this is our work day here. Now, instead of being outside it, like the procrastinator, the workaholic is right in the middle of this, okay? Now, they're busy, they're working a lot, coming to the end of the day, but, you know, I'm making progress, so I should just stay a little bit longer here with this. And yeah, okay, yeah, but my boss said that needs to be done by tomorrow, okay? So, see what happens is the boundary is moving, and there is no conscious choice, really, about that. The boundary, which if it was even made in the first place, is not respected. Okay. So I I do notice that I have way more people with the issue of procrastination than workaholism. But that's not to say that they're uh, caused by different things. It's the same issue. It's a lack of uh, establishment and enforcement of personal boundaries. So whichever one you identify with most, most people uh, who watch my content have the procrastination side of it. But the answer is the same. It's the same as with the workaholic. The workaholic needs to start respecting that end boundary around their work. The procrastinator needs to respect the initial boundary with the work. Okay. So what does that look like? Does it look like when you don't show up to begin and you push it forward that you sit around and beat yourself off about it? No, <laughs> that's not what it looks like. Now, this is an advanced technique and it's in my, my book. It's the, um, the fifth tool in the book. But basically what it means is, well, first of all, there's so, there should, we need to establish what the boundary kind of should be to begin with, right? Now, before you do that around work, actually how that boundary gets constructed is you first of all you establish well where is the guilt-free non-negotiable play in my day the fun in my day the relaxation in my day and you you write that up you schedule that all in and what you're going to be left with is like a boundary of okay this is the opportunity and where i can work and you can then set okay well i'm going to start here now what happens if the procrastinator comes along and thinks well okay this is the time but yeah i'm not going to show up for that I'm not going to, I'm not there, I'm not, I'm not at that point. What they don't get to do 
And this is the this is the key. The issue isn't about be there on time and me lecturing you for not being there on time. Okay, we've all had plenty of that already. All I'm saying is for for procrastination, what we do, the compassionate approach for ourselves, is to say, okay, well, look, there is the block of time. It's not moving. I'm not allowing myself to shift that boundary. There it is. And the work can either be done in that time or it won't be. Okay. Now, that's actually that's an earlier tool in this. The, the, the thing about getting to the start time, you can add to it if you want to. If I'm not there at the beginning of that time, I don't do it at all today. I've made a few other videos on that, right? That's about how you overcome, iner overcome inertia with procrastination. But let me just simplify it for this video here. You set up the boundary as a procrastinator. The work can only be done in this period of time, surrounded by guilt-free play. It is, you are not allowed to say, well, I didn't show up for it there, and later on I'll do it. When you don't do that part, moving the boundary, your procrastination issue will go away. It's the enforcement of the boundary that you set up for yourself. Establishing it is quite straightforward because it, you, you derive it from scheduling guilt-free non-negotiable play. But once it's established, how you, it's not about being there on time or doing the work. The answer, and this is counterintuitive, is not shifting the boundary. Even if I don't do the work, I do not get to do this. It's having the insight into the nature of the problem allows us to implement that solution. So I hope that's a useful concept, guys. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there, food for thought maybe, for people who are new to this idea. But thanks for being with me as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.